Hey finders and welcome back to Fortune Finds. I was sitting on my couch, it is Sunday, I don't think I'm uploading this on Sunday. I was sitting on the couch with Mike, we were watching football and I was scrolling through my Instagram because makeup, you know, kind of excites me a little bit more than football and I was just trying to get some inspiration. I actually had a different makeup look that I was going to upload today. I did film that though and that will be up next week. That is another holiday inspired makeup look but I was scrolling through Instagram and I couldn't help but notice that Katy Perry uploaded sneak peek of her upcoming music video called Cozy Little Christmas and in this one shot, it's right here, I'll show you. Her in, look at her eyes in this video. Like, they are nuts. That wasn't really good. I should just show you the screenshot that I took. Girlfriend is just like bedazzled. She has this like cat eye rhinestone. So I was like, wow, I need to recreate this and hopefully do it before anybody else does because I work full time and typically I lose out on all the trends because something will happen on like a Tuesday and my ass can't get it together and film until like Saturday the earliest. So I was really excited to see this. Who doesn't love Katy Perry? Like teenage dream. Katy Perry is always good for a bot and I love a bot. I'm wearing a ton of rhinestones. I don't know if you can see them all. I really hope you can see them all because I spent a hell of a lot of time applying them. Just being straightforward with you. This is very time consuming and pretty tedious. That being said though, I have applied rhinestones to my eyes a handful of times. So I'm teaching you guys a lot of tips and tricks that I have learned along the way. I've had a lot of failures when it has come to rhinestone application. So it definitely does take practice. However, I'm giving you a ton of tips and tricks that will you know, help you get the end result a lot quicker than I did in my journey. I have uploaded a few rhinestone makeup looks and you guys have asked me a lot of questions on how to apply them, what do I use to apply them, what are my best techniques. So that is going to be all in this video. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you and also click that bell button this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I upload once, maybe twice a week, but if you subscribe and click that bell button, you will get a notification whenever it is my video goes live. Without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to my Katy Perry Cozy Little Christmas music video inspired makeup look. I'm going to be using my NARS Skin Deep palette as well as I'm thinking my Colab palette After Hours, Natasha Denona number nine Industrials palette. So I did go ahead and I primed my eyes using some concealer, but I'm going to put a little bit more on. I was looking at Katie's photo and I just want to make sure that there's concealer in this outermost corner because I am doing my eyes first. Her natural skin is not poking through. It's all canceled out. So just make sure your concealer kind of goes past your brow a little bit so that when we lay down those jewels out here, we don't have to worry about adding makeup afterwards because that's going to be nearly impossible. So I'm just adding a little bit more to the edges. You can use any concealer if you want to know what I'm using. I'm using the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer. I'm going to hop into my Natasha Denona number nine and I'm going to grab this champagne-ish shimmer right here. I'm going to take that on a flat brush and I'm just going to put this all over the lid and I'm using this to set that concealer. Now as always when I do recreations of looks they don't look exactly the same in the end but I want it to definitely resemble it. So I'm bringing that into the inner corner. We do want to brighten up the whole lid. I'm going to go into my NARS Skinty palette. I'm going to hop into this cool tone brown and I'm going to take that on a flat fluffy brush and I'm going to coat the sides of the brush. I didn't just dip into the middle, I packed it a little bit on the sides. I'm gonna run this into the crease. So I'm digging this into the crease and I'm gonna fluff it out and blend it out afterwards. I'm kind of gonna swoop it up to bring a little bit of a cat eye. I'll bring you guys in a little bit closer. So this look is really all about those crystals. So I don't wanna go too crazy with the eyeshadow. I don't want it to be too heavy. I just want it to be a dusting of shimmery shades. This way, you know, those jewels lay down on some nice makeup. We don't want it to be all about the shadow. A clean blending brush, and I'm just gonna blend this out. Now I'm gonna take a packing brush, and I'm gonna go into this brown right here, and I'm gonna hit this underneath the waterline on the bottom lashes. And again, don't worry, we are gonna blend this out. So just pack this in. Going in with a smaller blending brush, there's nothing on this brush. I'm gonna go ahead and just blend this out. Now she has like a little bit of sparkle right here. I'm gonna hop into my Colab palette and I'm gonna grab this almost like gray iridescent shade right here. I'm gonna pick that up with a little flat brush and I'm gonna poke this like right here. And I'm gonna kind of bring it into the crease. Back in with my blending brush and just blend this out. 
That was a little bit darker than I thought it was gonna be, but that's okay. Blend it out. Now I definitely want the lid to be sparkly and I want it to match the silver toned crystals. Hop into this silver right here. Take it on my finger and I'm just gonna pat this on the lid. This is such a pretty color. And then I'm gonna go back in with that fluffy brush that we used to initially go in and I'm just gonna blend this out. Soften up the edges. And I'm kind of just whisking this like all over the lid. And then she still has that like hint of some really pretty shimmer in that corner. So I'm going to hop into one of my J-Cat glitters. Oh, maybe I'll use this. Space Case Cosmetics Alien Love Child. Okay, I feel like that's fitting for Katy Perry. So I'm going to take a little bit on my pinky and I'm going to hit that right here. See how that gives just like a pop of something right there? I definitely want to go ahead and curl my lashes before because once the jewels are on, I don't think I'm gonna be able to curl my lashes. And I can't put mascara on without curling my lashes. So I'm going in with my Tweezerman eyelash curler. That is the eyeshadow on. It looks a little sloppy, but I promise it's gonna look a lot better once our entire face is done. So I'm going to link the jewels that I purchased on Amazon down below, as well as the tool mechanism that I purchased to pick them up. I'm gonna show you guys on my phone what exactly I did on the table when using rhinestones, especially rhinestones of different sizes, which is definitely what we are using today. I think it's really helpful to lay them out. So lay out one eye and the other eye, this way they're symmetrical. Make sure you're using the same rhinestones because I find that once I go in with the rhinestones and start applying them, I easily get agitated and I kind of like rush it like because this can be very time consuming it can be very tedious so I find that if I have all the rhinestones that I'm using laid out it takes away a lot of the time that I'm wasting trying to make sure that this eye matches this eye. I went ahead and I laid out the left eye and then I went and laid out the right eye so just symmetrical and then I have a few bits and bobs here of different sizes that I'm looking to use just in case you know I pick one up and it drops I have a little extras laid out I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the wing section and I'm gonna go from bottom to top I find personally that it's easier to lay the glue down where you want to put the rhinestone rather than putting the glue on the rhinestone because that just it gets stuck to your mechanism then like you put it on your eye it won't stick it keeps coming off it's just a trick that works for me I'm gonna be using a lash glue this is just the duo two-in-one brush on strip lash adhesive and I'm gonna be using the clear side okay you're gonna want a mirror a close-up mirror so you can see what you're doing and I'm gonna put my first little guy here picking it up with my tool and placing it down I'm gonna pick up an even smaller one. Oh, I'm placing him right there now I'm also going to tell you that it is important to leave your eye open depending on your eye shape if you have hooded eyes those rhinestones are gonna get lost so if you keep your eye open you can go ahead and see what rhinestones are maybe too big for your eyes where you need to put them because like I have hooded eyes so if I were to, to shut my eyes and put a rhinestone right here when I open my eye it's gonna get lost in that crease and it's gonna be really uncomfortable so keep your eyes open bigger rhinestone and I want to put her right here And see that rhinestone was close to being too big for my eye, but I already measured it out and you can still see it when my eye is open. So I'm going to bypass that fold and put one on the top of my fold because hers kind of goes down, but mine cannot go down because I have that fold. And I'm just going to wing this out. And I want my wing to end here. So I'm going to put that last dot here and then maybe fill in the gaps. And I put a smaller one out there for the wing and I want to kind of connect these so I'm going to put another small one right there and just play with it. It doesn't need to be exactly like Katy Perry because again our eye shapes are different so you're going to have to use your best judgment honestly. You just need to work with what you got as I preach very often here on my channel. And look, you have a little wing. I could even put one in the middle. Maybe I'll do that in the middle of the two of the triangle that I've created. Wow, that's really pretty. I'm gonna put one right here as well. 
Okay, now for me, I kind of just like to lay down the outer and the inner corners. It's just something that I like to do. I like to create an outline before I go ahead and fill in the rest of the eye. So I'm going to go ahead and put four little jewels and then we'll work our way back onto the lid. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't really see where I put them though. She definitely has bigger ones on the lid, but hers are way too big for my eye. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm just going to pick up one and see what it looks like on my lid for actually putting the glue down and committing to it. I can probably get away with another one right there. And it kind of just looks like she has bigger ones all over her lid. So I'm going to place them where I see fit according to my eye. And I'm gonna put little ones in between these so it doesn't look like they're all just like the same. See how that kind of like created a wing? If I close my eye. And then I'm gonna throw some up here because it looks like her wing is a little bit thicker up top. I'm gonna put a couple little ones up top because I think that'll look cute right in the crease. Well, not right in the crease, right above my crease. Oh my god, I love. All right, guys, and this is one eye bedazzled. Now, you're going to notice when my eye is shut, there's a huge gap. But again, that's because I have hooded eyes. If you don't have hooded eyes, you can go ahead and fill in that gap. But look, there's none in the middle. I kind of made like a super wide wing, but you know, like super wide and then turned into a wing. That's just flattering for my eye shape. See, there's a gap here. But then when I open my eye and I look at you, you wouldn't see those jewels anyway. So... Yeah, and even if I did put jewels in there because of that fold, it would be really uncomfortable and they would be bulging for my eye. When you play with rhinestones, it's all about placement for your eye shape. If you have folds, again, do not put them in the folds, put them around. I'm going to go in with my Benefit Bad Gal Bang because this wand is dense and I'm not really worried about it fluffing and catching on to those rhinestones, but just be careful. If you wanted to use falsies, I would definitely put the falsies on and then put the rhinestones on, but I don't really feel like dealing with falsies today. I'm going to hop off camera, finish off the other eye, and then we will meet back here to finish off the rest of the face. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going to go ahead and shut my eyes. And for the most part, these are pretty symmetrical. I took my time. I just made sure that these rhinestones mimicked these rhinestones. And as you guys all know, my eyes are kind of two different shapes. So where it is kind of a little difficult for me to apply a normal wing and have it be even on both sides, it's a lot more difficult to apply rhinestones so the wings aren't perfect but for the most part i'm very very happy with how this came out so i'm going to go ahead i'm taking a neutrogena makeup remover white i have fallout from that natasha denona palette and i don't want to mix this glitter in with my foundation i really want the only glitter part to be my eyes because the rest of her face looks pretty matte i already did my skin prep i will list it down below for you guys it's the usual so in this photo which is a really crappy photo her skin looks really flawless. There's not a lot of contouring, so I think we're gonna do a little bit of light contouring using bronzer, but we're definitely gonna go in with a red lip. And I know this is like very full coverage. I'm gonna kind of make this my own. I kind of like when your eyes are bedazzled like this for the rest of your makeup to be a little bit more natural looking. So I know she looks very full coverage, which I get, she's in a music video. Chick needs to be full coverage, but we're gonna go a little bit natural with the face. So I'm going to use a lighter concealer. This is my Koki Be Bright again. And I'm just going to place this where I need some extra coverage. And then I'm going to go in with an Eco Tool sponge. This is their smaller sponge and it's damp. And then as I get closer to the eye, I'm going to use the flat side. I want to get it as close to that smoked out section as possible, but I don't want to run it over. I'm just gonna use, what am I gonna use? I wanna use something that's a little natural. I guess a little bit more full coverage. I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Infallible shade 440. I'm just gonna stamp this into my skin. I'm gonna put a little bit more foundation on, but I'm gonna use a brush. And then I'm gonna go in with that sponge. I'm gonna go over that blemish, this time with a little bit of foundation, just on my finger. Pat it down and then blend it out with a clean finger. Laura Mercier, translucent setting powder. 
I'm gonna use my BH Cosmetics Brilliance Bronzer. I'm just gonna lightly contour perimeter of my face. I'm not gonna do anything too crazy with the skin. I'm gonna go in with my Gigi Gorgeous Blush Duo. I feel like this is just a really great blush not in general, but especially for this look. The matte, lay that down. I'm keeping it towards the back of my face. And then I'm gonna dust off the excess on my arm and then I'm gonna go in with that shimmer and just put it right over. Actually, I kind of want to take a looser brush and go in with that shimmer. I think it'll distribute it nicely. See, and it just gives a really nice glow. I'm just gonna take this like flat brush and I'm just gonna run this down my nose. And then I'm gonna go in with some Essence Make Me Brow. This is in the shade Soft Brownie Brows. This is a little bit lighter than my brow, just cause I feel like my brows are like so much today. Lay my brows down with this. Wow, those are some fucking bold brows. Okay, so for that overall glow, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. Hourglass brush that I bought it with. I'm just gonna go down all the shades and I'm just gonna put this all over my face. And then to set that all in, I'm gonna use my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. So we're gonna do a bold red and to line my lips today, I'm gonna to be using the Lime Crime Lip Liner in the shade Poppy. Uncensored by Fenty. I'm gonna knock off any of the excess. I'm gonna start from the middle of my lips and then move to the outer corners. This way I run out of some product before I get to the outer corners and it doesn't bleed. All right, now we're just gonna throw on mascara on the lower lash line and then we're done. I'm gonna go back into my bad gal bang. All right guys, and this is the finished makeup look. I absolutely love this. I'm so happy with how this came out. Again, very time consuming, but I do think that if you are committed and you want to wear an eye makeup look like this, because honestly, if you wear this, like everyone is gonna talk about how fabulous your eye makeup look is. They're just gonna tell you how beautiful you are. Honestly, like you can show up to a Christmas party, I guarantee you, wearing a garbage bag while rocking this makeup look and everyone's gonna tell you how stunning you are, promise, okay? That is a guarantee. I would definitely recommend playing with this before you commit to it. Sit down, play with your jewels, play with your lash glue, see what jewels fit on your eyes, which ones don't. Every makeup look, not only when you're applying jewels, really, you need to take into consideration your face, your face shape, your eye shape, your eye folds. Don't place a jewel where you have a fold on your eye because it's gonna be very uncomfortable. It's going to be bothering you the entire night and you're not gonna enjoy your holiday party. You're just gonna be looking forward to the minute you get home to go ahead and wash off your eye jewels. With that being said, I did wanna to mention to you guys, I find that the best way to take off these jewels, especially because look at how many are on my eye right now, you would think that this would take a while to take off, but the best way to take off rhinestones is using the Neutrogena Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. It comes in a bottle in my bathroom and I'm too lazy to go get it, but I will definitely link it down below for you guys. All I do is take a little bit of that on a Q-tip and I just work the Q-tip around each and every jewel and then I use warm water and they literally slide off. You can reuse jewels, however, you just wanna make sure that you get all that lash glue off. I think it's nice to reuse them because they are made out of plastic, be earth friendly. So definitely soak them, make sure all the glue is off and then you can definitely reuse them however sometimes honestly there's so much glue on them that they're not reusable sorry you can definitely tone this down you can definitely bring this back a notch you don't need to do the entire eye honestly I think that this top section of jewels would look beautiful if you just had that top section into the wing so stunning you can just put a jewel here a couple jewels here play around with it you don't need to do exactly what I did this is just a guideline I was very much inspired by Katy Perry I've been a huge Katy Perry fan for the longest time I love her so much teenage dream oh my god my childhood oh so happy so I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video if you did again please be sure to subscribe click that bell button this way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video I had a great time as always thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you in my next one bye finders Mwah.